Our next guest purged her house in the middle of the night, <laughs> threw out the majority of the kids' toys while they were sleeping. That's just... I've done that. Of course you have. Uh, and she said that was the secret to finding <laughs> joy in motherhood. Did you find joy after doing I, it? I did. Yeah. It, was, it was very joyful. And the kids didn't even know it when they woke up, by the way. Now she is sharing those <laughs> secrets for creating a family-friendly, minimalist lifestyle in her new book, Declutter Like a Mother. Joining us now is author Ali Casaza. I did not know we were soul sisters on that. I got a lot of shade from people for doing that, but it worked, and I loved it, so that makes me feel better that you did it, too. All right. You highlight in your book about being a stressed out mom of four, and it led to this epiphany of leading a minimalistic style life. Um, and you're now trying to help other moms live this new way. Tell us about it. Yeah, so for me, being stressed to the max as a mom really pushed me to my breaking point. Um, it really showed me that. I'm not okay raising my kids or living my life for myself from that place, which so many moms just kind of subscribe to that and it is what it is for them. Um, so I'm really grateful for the stress because it got me to a point where I felt like I had momentum and drive to take action and was kind of willing to do anything to make things better. Um, it also forced me to get really creative because there weren't really resources that were working for me or helping me, which led me to creating the content that I create now. This is interesting because obviously as a mom, you can you can make the decision to live this way and, and try to do better, but then you've got to get your kids involved either be, as well because if they aren't on board, I imagine that might be a difficult uh, road to travel. So how do you get your kids involved in this lifestyle? Yeah, well, I think first just understanding kids raised with less material items, they are more grateful, they communicate better, they have stronger senses of self-worth, they're focused on something bigger than consumerism, they take better care of their things, they play for longer periods of time, and their IQs tend to be higher. So having that drive to do this, and then you can start set boundaries by the space you have rather than giving them a bunch of rules. Kids can be led by the space available rather than a bunch of like really hard to follow rules about their stuff that can feel kind of like a punishment for no reason. For example, this is your toy chest. When it's overflowing with toys, it's time to make some decisions about what needs to go and what will stay. That choice is yours and I'm here to help if you need me. Another idea is exchange things for tech or fun time. So you could have your kids turn decluttering into a game of sorts. So an example might look like, okay, whoever gets rid of 10 things they don't love or use anymore gets an extra 15 minutes of tech time after dinner. Um, another stress point that I can help with is really just rethinking holidays and birthday gifts for your kids. A few ideas. Um, do one to three gifts per child in your family, knowing that the kids are gonna receive more from relatives and friends. So you're really just simplifying the part that you have control over. And remembering you can always donate what isn't loved or used after the holidays. It's, I mean, that's perfectly acceptable. It's your space that you're having to keep up. Um, another idea here is to start an experience fund and ask relatives to contribute to that rather than just buying more things. Well, my goodness, Allie. My eight-year-old daughter is going to wonder what happened when she wakes up in the morning. Uh, it's time to declutter. Ali Kazaza, and again, it's called Declutter Like a Mother. The book is available starting tomorrow everywhere books are so. Ali, good to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.